What's daddy making for you? Egg. Hey, what's hot? The egg. What is it? Little pig, little pig, let me in. <laughs> what are you supposed to say? No, but I have my pig person. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> Where are those little piggies? Where are those little piggies? <laughs> Supposed to be frozen. Oh, oh. <laughs> then then we got this iceberg. Help me, Ivy. Help me, Ivy. You <laughs> 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 Today's project is rabbit hutch number two. I only have a short time to work this morning, uh, so this is probably going to be a two-day project. Uh, so we'll try and hopefully get the frame built today and then tomorrow get the wire and the door on it. Let's get to work. I am going to try and do this one a little bit using some other scrap lumber because I'm running out of wood, so that's not fun. And I really, really don't want to have to go buy any. So I'm kind of piecing this one together, and I actually think this is going to save me in wire and save me in wood, too. I have to perform a little saw maintenance as I'm going. I notice as I'm cutting, it feels like my cuts are just worse and worse and worse. I'm like, I didn't think I was that shaky. You see the screw right here is loose. Let me show you what it does to my saw. So, I hope you can see this. See how it wiggles like that as I'm going? This whole body shakes. So I'm gonna have to take the blade off and, sh and uh, tighten that screw at the top. Always unplug your saw before performing saw maintenance. the culprit see how loose it is and I noticed the last time I used this the guard was having trouble snapping back and I think that little screw is the reason this blade has definitely seen better days and I'm pretty sure I've got a new one in there so while I've got it off I'm just gonna change the blade and we will be back in business I kid you not folks, it feels like a new saw. This saw I bought probably six or seven years ago and it was literally the cheapest saw that they had at the hardware store. But my dad told me, he said, if you put a decent blade in it, it'll do okay for you. So that's what I've done. It's done pretty good. Someday I might like to get something a little bit nicer, but it's, it's holding out for us. So we'll just stick with it for now. We have to go to town this afternoon. So we're putting a pin in this project till tomorrow. You can see I've kind of got the four sides here, but I'm using these big 16 penny nails and they are destroying this one by material. So we're going to get some screws that'll fit this and do it the right way. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more stable, but you can kind of see, I'm going to try and put a roof on this one. So the front side's a little shorter than the back side, but we're, we're getting there. Uh, oh, I also want to show you something uh, that I was given the other day. The other day, Terry called me up and gave us these two Coleman lanterns. I mean, I've got the, the box for both of them here. I pulled the one out 
and it's a little bit uh, dusty, but it looks like it's in uh, brand new condition and barely used. So we've got two of those, and we are also given some of the Coleman fuel, and these, these are both, uh, I got two of them. Both of them are just uh, nearly full. So thank you, Terry, it's awesome. I think we're up to, well, and I've got a bunch of, a bunch of the fuel here too, you can see a little bit of it here. So I think we're up to four outdoor lanterns and maybe four or five indoor lanterns. All of those have been given to us or we've inherited. So that's really cool. If the lights go out in these parts and we lose electricity, we're going to be able to see wherever we want to go. So I'm just going to go outside real quick and clean up the rest of our stuff and call it quits for today. Before we can get rabbits though, I am going to have to predator proof our shed a little bit better because basically whatever wants to. I mean literally if a bear wanted to walk into our shed right now, it could. <laughs> so I'll show you that and my plans for trying to, to take care of that. But I think that's all we're going to do for today. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.